Naude mwenye alikaa msaudi na akona mshono aliza through CS Hello family welcome to the Luck Moms channel my name is the Luck Mom Debra Nyanchoka I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia and I create awareness of what happens in the Middle East uh, I just want to give free advice to anybody who might want to go to Saudi Arabia uh, before you travel to Saudi Arabia make sure you don't have any car or an uh, unseen car for example maybe you have a scar from operation maybe you are sick and you got operated but now because maybe life has become so hard you must have watched and to Saudi Arabia and it after green pastures or maybe you may have a CS Unasema wacha sasa uende kutafuta green pastures maybe you have children you, you have a family that depends on you this is your message uh, Saudi Arabia sio kazi unaenda kukaa ofisi ukihesabu masaa Saudi Arabia ni mali unaenda ufanye kazi 16 to 18 hours per day kama umeamka 6 utalala 12 kama unaamka 6 am utalala 12 saa zingine kuna wanyama wanaamka 4 na wanalala 12 so kama unapenda maisha yako na kama umefanyiwa operation usianze safari kwenda Saudi Arabia kwa sababu pale ni kazi unaenda kufanya pale utabeba gas 17 kg kutoka maybe ground floor mpaka third floor ama fourth floor ama ama a long distance itakuwa shida kwako So ikiwa uko na operation yoyote yenye unajua kama uko na uzi kwa mwili yako yenye inaweza enda kuku affect just hustle from home. I'm just telling you this for free because I have a case I'm handling right now. Mustana alienda Saudi Arabia alikuwa amefanyiwa operation mara tano. Tunaelewa kuna shida lakini akafikiria maybe anaweza enda apate light work hakuna cha light work in Saudi Arabia ama hakuna cha nyumba ndogo Saudi Arabia juu watu wanasema eh hey, niweko kwa nyumba ndogo hakuna nyumba ndogo kazi lazima utafanya hata kama nyumba ni kidogo utafanya kazi utaongezewa ukimaliza haraka so watu wajue tu enda ukiwa na afya bora kwa sababu inakuwa ngumu sana mwaraba amekununua half a million Kenyan money Alafu maybe ni mtu alikuchagua kwa mtandao kwa sababu they just choose online wana kununua tu online. Akaona tu wenyewe huyu msana huyu mama na cast strong maybe atanisaidia kazi for these two years. So maybe you are in their budget. Wamekupajetia wamekununua hiyo pesa mingi hivyo. Then ukifika one week unaanza kuambia huyo mama wa nyumba unajua mimi nimefanyiwa operation mara tano. Sasa sio ni kama nitaweza kazi. Let's be fair. Let's be fair jiulize ni wewe umenunua mtu half a million uh, then all of a sudden anakuambia amefanyiwa operation hawezi fanya kazi mzito utachoka that is a reality utachoka so ikiwa wewe uko na operation any scar yenye itaenda kukuumiza usiendelee na kazi yako vizuri tafadhali hustle from home kwa sababu hakuna mtu atataenda kukuhurumia pale pale ni kuchapa kazi na sisi tunaogopesha watu i'm just trying to speak a reality Najua kuna watu wao wanasikia vibaya nikijaribu kuongea ukweli. I'm not gaining anything by lying. I'm just trying to pass facts. At least inaweza saidia mtu like unaezambiwa you, you carry cartons of water like me I used to carry 50 cartons of water twice every month kutoka uh, ground floor mpaka huko juu. Unaona? So hiyo ni kazi mingi utafanya kazi utabeba mchele yenye kuna packets zingine mingi ndani una ile imebeba 50 kg unabeba so kama uko na hiyo kama uko na CS ama umefanyiwa operation yoyote itakuwa kibarua kigumu kwako na hapo sasa ndio utasikia tu mtu anapelekwa ukiambia mwarabu hivi anaanza kuchoka na wewe anakurudisha ofisi ofisi ukienda pale unataka urudi nyumbani sasa ulikuwa unataka kufanya nini kwanza ulikuwa unataka kupanda ndege ufike pale ndio usen, tena useme uko na nini ikiwa unajua uko na shida achana na hizo stories za kwenda Saudi Arabia ukiwa uko na operation yote tafadhali uh, let's save a life ikiwa uko na any uh, complication yenye ina deal na operation tafadhali usiende kwa sababu kuna kesi inafuatilia na huyo msana na muhurumia because sasa hata amepelekwa pale na hata madaktari wamesema asifanye kazi mzito lakini bado wamekataa kumrudisha nyumbani 
wanamwambia lipe zile pesa alionunuliwa so usikubali kujipata kwa situation kama hiyo tafadhali na kama kuna watu wengine pia unapatanga mtu ameshika mimba after maybe fine or medical pia make sure umepima umejipima hata kama ni wewe peke yako ukipata uko na mimba baki usiende na emotional scars i call them emotional scars let me say like that because hizo ni vitu zenye zitakuaffect we mwenyewe by the time unaenda kujulikana unaanza unarushwa rushwa tu kama mpira so ukirushwa rushwa hujapata msaada so if you have an unseen scar that is going to make you uh, get emotionally disturbed just stay in your country hustle from home uh, just listen to what this lady is saying at least maybe it will make sense on uh, to you kuna ude mwenye alika msaudi na akona mshono aliza through cs guys ukiwa unajua uko na mshono uzioyote kwa mwili please kama unajua lishano usikuje Saudi Arabia huku ni kazi huku mkiona watu wakiroparoka TikTok huku ni kazi hizo vitu zenye watu wanasema ni kweli tuseme wao wasiana wengi kwa Saudi wako tuna maneno acha niende alafu kitu cha pili unalaumu boss na agent tunasema naambia boss wangu eh hey, niko na niko na mshono na ananipea kazi mingi na beba gas tukisema mnafikiria tube bangi utabeba oh naosha gari utaosha kama unajua kuna mshono kaa kwenu wacheni kulaumu agent na bosses kwa kila kitu amekununua pesa mingi umefika kwake unamwambia nirudishe kwa ofisi akishuali haki vitu vingine shuali hmm.